Okay, so welcome back. Now we're going to talk about algebraic expressions. So what is an algebraic expression? An algebraic expression is a combination of letters, variables, and numbers that are connected by one or more of the um, operations, arithmetic operations. So uh, multiplication, division, adding, subtracting, that would also include exponents as well, um, square roots, things like that, okay? So anything connected using one of the four basic operations, which is, again, adding, subtracting, multiplication, and division, okay? So for example, what are some examples of algebraic expressions? Well, here's a few, okay? x plus y, that's considered an algebraic expression. Okay, that's also an algebraic expression. Uh, what else? That's an algebraic expression. There's another one. There's another one. And there's another one. So these are all algebraic expressions. Okay, now, if the algebraic expression has been formed by multiplying quantities, okay, so we're talking about a product, right, then each of those multipliers is called a factor. Okay, so now this is not, um, this is not any different than what we de dealt with when we were dealing with numbers, right? So when we talk about the number 24, right, we say that this is equal to, right, we can write this as 6 times 4, right? And so what do we say? This is the product, right? This is the product, and each of these numbers that we're multiplying together is called a, a factor, right? So what if I have two what if I have this, right? This means multiplication, right? I just don't know what the two numbers are. So, but I'm multiplying two numbers, right? So this is called the product, right? This multiplication, but A and B are each a factor. Just like here, 6 and 4. Are factors. It's just that we don't know what these factors are. We do know what these factors are. This is specifically 6 and 4, where maybe these can be any number, right? We can, can be anything, okay? But that's what we mean by factor. So anytime we have an algebraic expression where there's multiplication involved, then each multiplier is considered a factor. So here's another example. So here we've got an algebraic expression that involves multiplication. So that would mean this piece right here, well actually even better, well there's more than one. So here two would be a factor, that's one factor. X is a factor. And then of course this thing is a factor. Okay, or we could consider just 2x, the whole thing, as a factor, right? So again, we can use the associative property. Uh, and then what else do we have? We have, oh, here's another one. We have r minus 1, 2r plus 1. 
And so in this case, we've got two factors. So this would be one factor, and then this one would be another factor. Now, we can also look at the sum and differences within an algebraic expression. Okay? Now, when we're dealing with sum or differences, then we have other terms that we can use. Okay, so for example, if I'm looking at 2x squared plus 3x minus 4, so this is an algebraic expression, but if I look at these, these pieces here that are connected by uh, addition and subtraction, these are called terms. Okay, so these are terms of the algebraic expression. Okay, so when we're, talk, when we're looking at adding and subtracting algebraic expressions, because each piece of this is an algebraic expression as well. So we're adding or subtracting algebraic expressions. Each one of those algebraic expressions that we're adding or subtracting is called a term. Okay. Um, And okay, and, and of course, the order of this is this would be the first term, second term, and third term. Okay, and so again, make sure you understand those things. Okay, have a great day.